Happy Tuesday, May 7th, everyone. Hunter here again at Weather on the Go. And in today's weather forecast, we have an extension of a severe weather outbreak that continues into today, May 7th, and tomorrow, May 8th, with all modes of severe weather on the table, including very strong tornadoes, very large hail, and some strong damaging winds. We will be breaking that down for you with the severe weather risks, the severe storm setups, and the timing of the storms in today's video. And also at the end of the video, we're going to be looking ahead to Mother's Day weekend with your temperatures and precipitation trends during that time as well. So if you are new here to Weather on the Go, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you are not subscribed so you can get the latest weather forecast for your area right at your fingertips and also be sure to press the like button down below the more likes we get to inform people about the severe weather the better so i definitely appreciate it so going back to yesterday it was a day of busy weather we had a lot of severe weather across the middle of the country we had a lot of tornado reports up to 17 now and actually most of them occurring in that moderate and high risk area yesterday on monday may 6th across kansas and down there into northern portions of Oklahoma. Now today, the Storm Prediction Center's day one outlook has an enhanced risk of severe weather across parts of Indiana, Ohio, and northern Kentucky with a larger slight risk surrounding that in the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley. And looking at that here, what that means is that with a level three out of five, that enhanced risk, high confidence that several of those storms will contain damaging winds, severe hail and or tornadoes. They will be scattered to numerous in coverage and they're similar to intense storms. Your area may only experience once or twice a year. So it's not very common that you see an enhanced risk all the time. And you can see we do have a 10% hatched risk for tornadoes today. This means a couple of strong stronger tornadoes may be possible there in the Hoosier state of Indiana over here into Ohio and northern Kentucky with the tornado risk actually extending back into Wisconsin, Michigan over here into West Virginia, western Pennsylvania even as far south there as Tennessee and Arkansas. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Also, in addition to the tornado threat, we have the threat for hail, very large hail in this hatched area, again, for Indiana, Ohio, and northern portions of Kentucky. Hailstones there, two inches or larger in diameter. That could be hen egg size or larger. And the threat for 60 plus mile per hour winds all across the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley. So let's look at the setup of severe weather today. Why we see it? Well, we have a warm sector extending from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up here into the Southern Great Lakes region and the Ohio River Valley dew points into the 60s and the 70s. This is contributing to some strong, if not extreme instability, much like we saw yesterday in excess of 2000 joules per kilogram. And we have help by the low level jet this afternoon enhanced with that low level shear over 50 knots this afternoon will only strengthen and maintain to over 60 knots through the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley this evening. So what this will do is climb those significant tornado parameter values higher on the scale. And you can see it's up to 16s and 17s out of 10s. And we saw what it did yesterday in northeastern Oklahoma. We saw a devastating tornado there in the Bartlesville area. And we could very well see a couple strong tornadoes again today across Indiana, Ohio, and northern Kentucky, and even outside of that area into Tennessee see as well. So I want everybody in the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley today stretching back to the Southern Plains to be on high alert for the potential for some strong tornadoes. So this morning we have some showers and storms, an arcing line of storms moving through the Madison region, Milwaukee and Chicago. Those will be entering into the Indianapolis region on a weakening trend very shortly this morning. We'll start to see outflow boundaries from that storm complex move through. That will ignite more storms this afternoon and scattered coverage across portions of northeastern Illinois through Wisconsin, but also down here into Indiana and southern lower Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, and even down into Tennessee. And notice the coverage of the storms here. Again, scattered, so storms will be capable of rotating and producing tornadoes. A little bit of some upscale growth as we go into the evening hours could maybe enhance the damaging wind and hail threat, but I still do think the tornado threat will be prevalent even into the evening hours. And then as we go into early Wednesday morning before 
sunrise, those storms will be on a weakening trend as they shift further off to the east and to the south. As we go into Wednesday, another big day of severe weather, a large enhanced risk over here into portions of the Ohio Tennessee River Valley, stretching back to the mid Mississippi Valley and towards the Southern Plains, stretching from around the Lexington Richmond region back through Paducah, Kentucky, Memphis and Nashville, back here into Little Rock and also the Texarkana region as well. And this could include some significant hail in excess of two inches in diameter, hen egg size or larger, some damaging winds in excess of 70 miles an hour and some stronger tornadoes as well up here toward portions of the mid Mississippi Valley from Missouri into Southern Illinois and Indiana over here into West Central Kentucky and Northern Tennessee. We'll have to keep a close eye on that, especially from around Springfield, Missouri, towards St. Louis, down here toward Carbondale and Paducah, getting in towards the Bowling Green area, and also over here into Nashville, and also towards Knoxville as well. So looking at Wednesday, we do have the threat for severe weather, so why are we seeing it? Well, dew points again back into the 60s, 70s, south of a frontal boundary, and you can see the cold front further off to the west. Very strong instability as well, over 3,000 joules per kilogram across much of the mid and lower Mississippi Valley, even up into the Tennessee and Ohio River Valley there. Plenty of energy for those storms in which to work with. As we go into Wednesday afternoon, a stronger low-level jet around 50 knots or so will actually strengthen there into the mid Mississippi Valley, enhancing that low-level wind shear. So those supercells that develop will be able to take advantage of that and produce tornadoes, potentially strong tornadoes across that region as we go into Wednesday evening with that low-level jet over 60 knots so that significant tornado parameter still pretty high on the scale up to 11s 12s out of 10s again breaking the charts again as we go into Wednesday so we'll be watching this day as well so looking at the timing Wednesday morning a complex of showers and storms may be evolving back here into the lower Missouri Valley back there into portions of southern Missouri and into northwest Arkansas that would be more of a damaging wind hail threat as we go into the afternoon we're going to see scattered semi-discrete supercells all across portions of the Ohio, Tennessee River Valley, stretching back to the mid Mississippi River Valley. And those could pose a risk for some strong tornadoes. Very nice upscale growth Wednesday evening into Wednesday night will pose a risk for widespread wind damage, large to very large hail and tornadoes along this line, much like we saw in Missouri last night across portions of Kentucky, Tennessee, down into Northern Mississippi, perhaps Northwestern Alabama. And that could even stretch back into Eastern Arkansas as well. And then as we go into Thursday, you can see a sprawling area of some severe weather potential from Texas all the way across the Gulf Coast to Georgia, up through the Carolinas, Virginia, and the Delmarva region, even into southern New Jersey on Thursday. And you can see scattered mode of severe weather on Thursday. All modes would be on the table here as well. Tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds. Storms will start to weaken as we go into Thursday night, but possibly another day of severe weather even on Friday maybe a marginal or slight risk day down toward Florida, Southern Georgia, and South Carolina. We'll have to wait and see how that works out as we do get closer. But looking at these rounds of showers and storms, they will be leaving in their wake some very heavy rainfall totals across the eastern U.S. A lot of us here from the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley down toward Dixie Alley in the southeast here, and even up toward the northeast U.S., we'll be seeing some healthy rainfall totals one to two inches with some isolated totals higher than that as we go through Friday, May, the 10th and this is going to lead to rounds of flash flooding potential so today into your Wednesday morning slight risk for flash flooding around Cincinnati Louisville stretching back to Evansville Indiana as we go into Wednesday Thursday that stretches from West Virginia all the way back here in toward the Little Rock area in toward Arkansas. And then as we go from Thursday into Friday, slight risk across portions there, the Monroe, Louisiana area, Jackson, Mississippi, through portions of Montgomery, Alabama, and into western portions of Georgia. So a lot of areas there at risk for flash flooding in addition to the severe weather threat. Now going into Mother's Day weekend, we have some changes on the table with our weather pattern. We're having a ridge of high pressure build out west on Saturday with a strong trough that we see that moved across the country this week, bringing all of our severe weather out east now on Saturday. That will continue as we go into Sunday Mother's Day as well. So what that will do with our temperatures 
It'll be pretty nice out here. A nice refreshing cool down for areas out east. We'll have temperatures on Saturday into the 50s across the Great Lakes, into the northeast, some 60s and 70s to go around out here to the south. And it is pretty dry in Florida. Dry soil heats up faster, so temperatures will be in the mid and even upper 90s in some areas there toward Miami as we go into Saturday. And looking at Sunday morning, starting off your Mother's Day, can't you know look at a better picture than this. We have a lot of 40s and 50s and 60s out there, a delightful start to Mother's Day. And look at Mother's Day afternoon, folks. Get out there and enjoy having a good time with your mothers out there on Mother's Day, um, doing outdoor activities because it's going to be very nice out here. 70s, 80s, and again, 90s down in Florida with the dry soil. But other than that, we're seeing some very delightful weather. Looking at precipitation here, Saturday, a little disturbance could be bringing us some shower storm activity across the Ohio Valley. This is likely not to be severe, but could produce some heavier downpours and some lightning out there. Then as we go into Sunday, Mother's Day, you might want to pack an umbrella here just in case if you have outdoor plans across the Northeast, up and towards the UP of Michigan and Northern Wisconsin. We're back here towards portions of West Central and Southern Texas. Other than that, most of the country should be very dry as we go into Mother's Day. And looking at Mother's Day weekend precipitation, you can see the heaviest back here towards the eastern Four Corners region, Colorado into New Mexico. Areas that need the rain, so we won't complain here, but West Texas as well, including Amarillo, Lubbock, and Midland. And then down here toward portions of Victoria, Texas, and Corpus Christi. And then some areas across the Great Lakes there like Cleveland, Toledo, and down toward Charleston, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, you guys could be seeing some rain as well. Well, stick with me across this uh, severe weather outbreak um, through the week. We're going to be uh, talking more about this as well, updating you on the latest information. So make sure you are subscribed here to my channel, Weather on the Go. Make sure you press the like button down below to get all of this information passed along to more and more people. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Tuesday out there.